What's up, y'all? We about to get into Messy Monday. If it's any parts in there, I don't want to see. I'm skipping it. Any Jordan B part come up, it's getting skipped. Okay? But anyway, we about to get into this video. Jordan B, the stepmama. She got her part getting skipped. I don't care. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? What the goddamn hell y'all leaks? So, I already read the title. Let's get into it. Wait, first, before we even get into it, I need this on the other side. The other side of my screen. That side, that side. It's not the same without you here on your side of the screen all night. All right. It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. I'm a sugar honey iced tea. Do you want to sell now, period? I said what I said. Now move along, bitch. Before you get red, P.O.P., you can't stick with me. Come on, girls, let's get it. Messy Monday. Oh, shit. Messy Monday. Messy Monday. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Messy Monday. Messy Monday. That's what we want. Messy Monday. Messy Monday. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. Hey, Chris. And welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are P.O.P. And that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? All right. So we made it to another Monday. Y'all, April is flying by. Now, I know y'all Taurus bitches is up here doing y'all thing and showing out and doing all that kiki and cackling girl. But it's almost May. And you already know what time it is, bitch. Gemini is going to stomp through this bitch like it's so stupid. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Be Gemini. Y'all ain't all that. Honestly, when y'all come around, it's a problem. Y'all do a lot. Hey, let, me, let me stop. Well, shout out to the Gemini that's gonna stalk through this bitch like we something stupid. Period. And oh, also, shout out to the trade that stopped me this week and said I watched Miss the Money. Shout out to the trade. The trade be watching. You hear me, trade? DME, I know all four of y'all niggas like, you fuck with you, nigga, what's up, nigga? Yeah, you nigga, you be talking your shit on Mr. Monday. <laughs> I like it. Anyway, I'm not gonna hold y'all too much longer. I wanna give a shout out to all of my friends out there that support Misty Monday. And I wanna say, hey, bitch. Hey, bitch. Now that we got that out of the way, y'all, I didn't really keep up with the mess this week. So if I bumble over some shit, we still finna keep cackle on this bullshit. That's what we do. <laughs> we like to keep cackle on the girls and talk about you. All right. It's time for us to go on again to y'all favorite part, and that is the shit, the sugar honey iced tea, because you girls love staying in some shit. First for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Goonie News, or Goonie God rest his soul for you. Um, seriously, this ain't no joke. He passed away, he was a rapper, and um, everybody was up in a hoopla because his body was at a club standing up like he was partying on the stage. And it was a whole lot, a whole lot. When I seen his hand, I was like, no. Still bigger to this 
And baby, I ain't gonna lie, I was dead. I said, oh my God. <laughs> I know you lying. My first reaction was, well, maybe the family wanted this. Maybe he wanted this and he told them in his will, y'all, I wanna go out with a pain. Y'all, I wanna go out stiff on these niggas, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, y'all gotta grant his wish. So while the internet was talking all that shit, coming up with their assumptions and things like that, the mama finally came out and this is what the mama said. Quite frankly, they say they don't understand the controversy surrounding all of this. Spoke with his mother tonight who says she should be able to grieve exactly how she wants. Yeah. It's something I wanted to do. That's how my kid wanted me to do it. That's how he wanted to go out. He wanted to celebrate his life, turning up, having a party. He don't want people to be sad and crying. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. <laughs> We need to be really, really realistic about funerals and death and things like that. Like, the older we get, I don't know about y'all. I hear some shit, I'll be like, at this point, it's like, damn, that's crazy. Rest in peace. What the fuck else am I supposed to do, bro? And when you figure out, like, for me, if I pass, oh, if, bitch, what? When I pass, okay. Um, first of all, I don't want y'all crying and shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I definitely, I, I ain't gonna, I don't want to be in a club, but I don't want to be like a church is just not even ideal anymore. Like a pastor talking about me and he don't even know me and shit. So it's just kind of like, I don't even know cause my time ain't coming yet. God willing. But it's just like, if that's what it is, she wanted to do. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? But I will say at first I was just a little taken back, like in a club though. But hey. It's not realistic for us to be in churches. Y'all know damn well we ain't in no church. Y'all know damn well we are not in church. Sunday morning, your ass is at a brunch, shaking your ass, drinking a mimosa. And that's just nothing but the damn truth. So you got Pastor John Ellerton talking about you, and you know damn well he didn't know you. That ain't even a church you was at. That ain't the church you grew up in because you ain't grew up in church. <sighs> you always want people to be happy and having fun. So even after the mama came out and said this was his final wishes and this is how he wanted it to be, somebody else was like, well, girl, my child asked for fruit snacks all the time. Am I supposed to give it to her every time? You ain't supposed to just give it because somebody asked it. And I was like, shut the fuck up. This is what this man said he wanted for his funeral. This is what the fuck he wanted. People talking about some, well, we could have had a casket on the stage instead of somebody advising it up. Well, bitch, did you go? Did you go? If you didn't go, then shut the fuck up. This is what he wanted. In the casket, out the casket, the point is he's still the same person. So it don't matter. If the mama ain't worried about it, you shouldn't be. Fact. Anyway. Well, we just talked about it because this is what everybody was sitting in saying. Did you see the man? Did you see the man? I saw the man. All right. Well, if it ain't about me, let's kick it. Okay. Next to the shit, honey, I see we have Melorex versus Lotto. Now, for those who don't know, Melorex is the ex of Kodak Black. So this is why this became messy. Like, I'm clearing my album right now, and it's been, like, difficult to deal with these men, you know what I'm saying? They right. they don't know how to keep it business, and then they <laughs> want to, like... What do you mean by that? So, like, I don't care, like, baby, I'm gonna just keep it 100. It's a feature on my album um, that it was, like, it was difficult to clear, and they, like, trying to drop their nuts on me <gasps> because I won't respond to a, a DM. Now I'm like, girl, what rap nigga was it? Because, girl, if you look good, bitch, you better give me some of that cookie jar. Baby, you can take all this cookies and add the wrong. For what? Come to find out. Allegedly, it was called that black, but mind you, the song is on the album. I don't even know why we still discussing this situation anyway. So, child, Melo went on an interview, and this is what she had to say. Lotto said something on the Big Boy interview, and she made a comment about, you know, trying to get a record from someone, people trying to exchange sexual favors. We think differently about the industry with that out there. That's just life, period. That's any industry around the world. <laughs> you feel me? Make the world go round, so it's like... And it's also Ooh. the way you talk as a female. You what gotta you know, if you know you sexy, don't show up to no studio meeting with no n with your titties out. He not gay. He looking at you like, damn, you mad sexy, your titties in my face. Like, you know you only with a, with a jacket on, just accordingly, don't tempt no n like, I don't think it's know, tempting, it's, though. It's Shouldn't tempting. you be free to, to come yeah, as you are? Yeah, but you gotta understand you're sexy. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to come to you. It's like, yeah, what about this song? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, but... I'm going to come humbly. No, 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 no. I ain't going to lie. She should be able to dress how she wants. Um, I, I do. I will say if she's not dressed. <laughs> if she's not dressed a little less provocative, then the nigga is going to try and holler at her. I mean, I will say. <clears throat> women go through it bro women go through it um but i gotta agree with when you got your ass out somebody gonna try to holler at you go lay because girl let me tell you something <laughs> you tried it you are telling another woman how she's supposed to present herself accordingly and whatever the case may be while you own the interview cheat is out sexy anyway bitch and that ain't the pop calling kettle black is that how you say it Black calling the pop pop calling the kettle. I say, I don't give a fuck what I say. Anyway, so um, bitch, court ball. These men need to control their damn hormones. That's what they need to do. You can go right. in there with some slacks on and a button down shirt like you got a school uniform, and they still gonna try to holler at you, girl. Eleven, eleven, eleven on the eleven. It's about these men. Stop making the women the victim when these men out here wandering around like scavengers, child. God, now you fucking lying. It's about what you wear. If you know you sexy, you shouldn't. Bitch, if I know I'm sexy, I'm gonna make myself sexy the fuck her. Period. Don't tell me what I can and can't work if somebody can't control themselves. You got me fucked up. Bitch, if I wanna walk in that <laughs> motherfucker naked, okay, you should be able to control yourself. Hell, you talking about I'm supposed to address for somebody else's emotions, bitch. We don't tell these men to stop coming around sagging, dick print half out, ass Okay. Out. You know what I'm saying? We don't tell them that. Walk around shirt off, tatted, muscle, big, strong, too. I just, I be wanting to touch. <laughs> He's so I don't do it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna put, girl, she gonna try it. At this point, I'm just like, girl, next. The fuck quiet and keep performing at talent shows. Hey, Ooh, right. He's so shady. I guess we're gonna just keep blaming the women and not the harassment. If that's what you want to say, sweetie, say that. Right. All right. Well, the internet cooked her up real bad, and she came back with an apology, and it's what her apology stated. This bullshit. Now I'm not gonna read all this because it's a fucking lie. But she said her words was misconstrued and all this other stuff. But what really got me was the wordage. She's using the word um, <laughs> What she said? Nurturing it. and how I choose to navigate going into places that are not geared for. Bitch, wait a minute. Who the fuck wrote this for you? Because the way you was talking in that interview don't add up to the way these words is following in order. <laughs> that nigga said a word. Is, is it just me? Who wrote this? Now, word of the curve is she's actually intellectual and very smart. So, uh, you know, maybe she did write this, but she just had a cuckoo moment on the interview. I don't know, child, you know, girl, maybe she was just, I don't know what the fuck she was doing, but she was doing it. Okay, anyway, if you want to call that dick back, just say that. What? Wear what you want to wear and be you. If it ain't about me, let's get <laughs> heat next. Okay? <laughs> next to the sugar honey iced tea is... Yeah. Now, baby, I'm all for everybody doing whatever it is that you want to do, but sometimes some things aren't for everybody. But who am I to say? Because, you know, when we all start off with something new, we have a bumpy road. Anyway, T.I. went to a comedy club here in Atlanta, Georgia, and while he was out there, there was a young lady who was on the stage, and she mentioned something about, you know, his incident, you know, that him and his wife were going through months back. Evidence, because there was no fucking crime. There is nothing to charge me for. Or you know, nobody. Really you no, know, shut the f up for a second. Hey, listen. No, no, no. As many times as you jump on that shit, I'm going to check your mother as long as it takes. When you stop talking about it, when you stop playing with me and mine, I'm going to stop saying something. I'm sorry. Ain't this no shit. motherfucking case. Ain't never been no motherfucking Crime 
T.I. is innocent. I truly believe that for him. There is no charge. I don't want to hear none of that. Don't play with me about that. I haven't put his hey, 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 hey. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, the one thing I am is a comedian, I'm not playing with you, see now you're getting misunderstood, this is not a rap battle, this is not that, this is a motherfucking comedy show, and be clear, if I want to make jokes about something, I'll make jokes about something, Absolutely. Security walked up there like he was going to do some shit with his bitch ass, and she done snatch, he done snatched the mic from her. I can't believe he snatched the mic and the security watched him. Now, T.I. didn't like that, but she said she mentioned it because T.I. has called her out her name and that's why she mentioned it. Woo, 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 yada, yada, yada. Funny. She then goes home and she gets on her social media and she lets the kids know what really went down and why she said what she said. So, I'm going to explain this one time. This is about what happened at One Night Only at our bar on Edgewood with myself and T.I. T.I. came to the show. It's about over anyway. It's an open mic. He comes. He does like 30 minutes. Now, after he gets off stage, I'm going to the next I'm hosting, I'm talking about marriage. He keeps cutting me off, telling me to shut the fuck up, calling me all kind of heckling me. So I'm like, all right, come on, stop playing with me. Like, it's crazy, you keep going, and I can't say nothing to you. He then starts yelling about how I need to take my wig off multiple times, take your wig off right now, cutting me off, take your wig off right now. Because a lot of y'all are saying I took a cheap shot. This is literally going on and on, harassing me. I don't know why my eyes turn hate. Shit is really ugly. But anyway, I said, I'll take my wig off when you speak on the allegations. Give T.I. a minute. He finna be walking around the house in this anger right here. And he <laughs> give me all the tea. Okay. See where the <laughs> got twisted. Never called you out your name. Never called you a bitch. You give me a video where I called you a bitch, I'll give you a million dollars. He should have gave it a million. He should have gave it 20 Where I call you a bitch at? Where did I call you a bitch? I never called you no bitch. <laughs> Run Miss Mama's her money. Okay. Run her her money. Because she showed you that you called her a bitch. Right. Give me my money. I don't want no apology. I don't care what you're talking want about. Give me my money. <laughs> Give me my money. Money. But in the midst of all of that, T.I. and her met up again, Girl. and this is what they had to say. Every time something bad happened, there's an incredible opportunity for something good to happen. And I will be on his stand-up no, special on Netflix. give me my money. Because he's going to get one because he's famous, and I'll be there. I will be riding. <laughs> if anybody, I won't ride a but I will ride a coattail. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, I ain't got nothing but love for you. I ain't got nothing but some integrity. I mean, love and respect for you. I and I think you have an incredible amount of integrity. And I think you handled yourself with integrity in this moment. And I think it's an incredible opportunity for us to be an example for other people who have discrepancies. Period. Child, I, I, I don't uh -uh. want no promised dreams. I don't I want, want no fairy money. tales. I don't want that telling me I'll be on your show and he do no. I want my Give me my one million. Put your money where your mouth is. You had all that mouth. I want Child my money. Child set you up and they gave me that clip. Clear as day, you was caught in 4K. I want my money. Uh, uh, no ma'am. And then on top of that, if there was no clip, you was gonna let the world drag me. Now, what if there was no clip? There was no evidence. The world was gonna drag that girl. And her whole company career could have been all the way off of something that you lie about. Now, I love me some T.I., but run me, my, run me my million. Run me my money. Run me my million. But you know, it is what it is. I guess they gonna come to an agreement, Sonny, and whatever they, fuck they come up with, they come up with, and that's on it. None of our business, we just stay up out of it. But girl, I'm getting my coin. I'm getting my coin. Run me my money. I'm just saying. Period. And I said what I said. Anyway, well, if it ain't about me, let's kick you next case. Next to the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Cora Ray versus Benadryl, or Benenza, Benenza, her daddy. So, Koi had went on the Breakfast Club, and when she was on there, she was discussing, like, you know, how her daddy had prematurely um, told everybody about the release of her song with Nicki Minaj and how, you know, upset her with woo woo. And in the midst of all that, she thought about how, you know, her daddy was broke. I guess, I don't know, he went on Clubhouse and he was like, I was like, Dad. Yo, Neek, me and Neek are sleeping. We are at Mina House. We're sleeping. <laughs> Yo, in a minute, sleep. Neek, wake up like, oh my God, cool. Hey, Dad's on the shade room. He just leaves the Nicki song. I woke up like, no, my God, my life is over. 
And to me, she was just, you know, speaking her life and her truth and where she's come from and how she's made it to where she is now. Child, we know, the whole family is kind of like, I don't want to say the whole family, but these two get me like- Did y'all see Benzino today? <laughs> he uh went to jail today for punching uh his baby mama friend car. Did y'all see Benzino's body? I just got him. Okay. So if you just give me a second, I just need to go to the shade room. Because I, I really, really, really need y'all to see what happened today. <laughs> I said, what the fuck is this? Girl, where's that video? Can't ever find nothing when I want it. Can't you stand this shit? Where is it? Ain't no way y'all post that many videos today. Y'all post this many videos today. Y'all, where is that? <laughs> Cause that all that wasn't today. And I know I seen that shit on the fucking shade room. Oh, I hate that. The man was just on there. That is crazy. He was just on there. I really want y'all to see this body, child. <laughs> I said, what the there we go. <laughs> Do y'all see this shit? Now, he got abs and all that cool, right? Hold on. I can't make it big. Damn. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Look at him over the top. Him looking at him over the top? Do y'all see that? That man ain't got no neck to save his life. What? What? Look at the back. You see how far his neck... Look at that shit. <laughs> Y'all yeah, can't see him. Oh, my God. Do what I want you to do. Look at this shit. Do y'all see now? It just look funny as hell, bro. No, the neck is just not there. It's just like a whole bunch of muscle body with no neck. You just look crazy. I said, what in the hell? So what happened? What's your name? Huh? Huh? You want to take me out? Fight. You want to what you do? Hey. What, what, what you do? Listen to me. What you do? Listen to me. What you do, you pussy? Listen to me. What you do then? Hey. I got guns too, pussy. What's... Oh, really? Oh, I bet. Hey, hey, hey. I bet hey. have guns. Hey. Who this motherfucker Listen. threatened What's me? It? Hey, he come just here. said he's going to shoot me now. Hey, okay. What's, yeah. your, what's your name? What's Raymond you? Scott, sir. Raymond, come here, man. Come here. You punk motherfucker. Come over here. Let's keep you guys. No, 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 no. You heard what he just said to me. I know. You heard what he just said to me. I heard you, man. Come on. Come right over here. Here. Come right here. Get you in some air conditioning, man. Here, sit down. Just sit in here so I can get you guys. I got the police car to sit down. Lord have mercy. Yo. Yo, pussy, yo. All right. You got to stop. Yo. You're going to have a different problem. Stop. Just, just don't. He's tell him, to get the, tell him to get the fuck out of here. Hey, then, step man. back behind the truck, you fucking man. pussy. He's trying to taunt me right now, man. He's literally not even engaging with you, so don't engage I with him. I can't believe you. You get in water. I can't fucking believe you. What? How could you do this to me for him? All right, do me a favor. Put your hands behind your back for me real quick, all right? How could you do this to me? Niggas just asked to go to jail. Oh, it's his baby mama's friend. Uh, Althea's friend. She fucking with another dude. Oh. He crying. Back, oh, what the fuck? Jail. Yo, 
Yo, pussy, yo. All right. You got to stop. Yo. You're going to have yo. a different problem. He knew stop. they was calling the police Just, on him. He knew that. Tell him to get the fuck out of here. Hey, then, step man. back behind the truck, you Fucking man. pussy. He's trying to taunt me right now, man. He's literally not even engaging with you, so don't engage I with him. I can't believe you. You get in water. I can't fucking believe you. How could you do this to me for him? All right, do me a favor. Put your hands behind your back for me real quick, all right? Wow. This is crazy, but okay. He oh, got to let her go. You're happy one minute, you're not next minute, you love him this minute, you hate him that minute. And I'm just like, at this point, y'all just need to part ways and Wait. just, girl, it, just fuck it. Because <laughs> I'm tired of it. Um, so the daddy got mad and he came out, started running his mouth. She started running her mouth. At this point, I'm not going to read all this shit. You can pause the video because I'm tired of y'all doing all Can y'all just make videos? All this type of, I, I, I don't even type text messages that long. Like, this is just too much to say on social media. Like, can y'all not call each other or text each other? Like, at this, ooh, it's just so stressful. So basically what she was saying in all this scribble scrabble was, Build a bridge, get over your hurt. I'm your daughter, this is what I'm supposed to do, but instead of you congratulating me and supporting me, you pick out me saying I, you're broke or whatever the case may be. You was just trying to get my mom and me to do the love of hip hop or whatever, and we're just not with that no more, you know what I'm saying? So it's like you trying to scrounge up some money and find some ways to stay relevant when child just be grateful that your daughter is living in your legacy that you created. So I guess he didn't take all that she was saying and he was just like, you know what? You call me broke, you don't show me no respect, you trampling over me. And I get what he's trying to say. Without me, there would be no you. So just, you know, say thank you, daddy, whatever, for opening up at least a little bit of the door or cracking the door. Because, you know, really he didn't play a big part because I feel she would still make it even if he wasn't her daddy. But him being her daddy kind of played a little part, you know what I'm saying? But he wants to add, like, it just played this major part. But, you know, don't take my word. Fuck, I don't know. Sometimes it could be your own family. And that's just so sad. Okay. Jesus Christ. You just always in some drama. Just drama. Oh, and is today. Telling the tea about Nikki. Telling the tea about his daughter. Drama, 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 drama. Just drama. <laughs> anyway. Drama, drama, drama. Okay, fuck it. If it ain't about me, Coy, just don't mention your daddy. Next word. guy. Next with Sugar Honey Ice Tea is Asian Doll versus Candy Got Band. Now, one thing for sure and two things for certain, I'm not about to read all of this fucking bullshit. No. So, Asia had made a tweet telling that she was the queen of drill and that, you know, she's putting these bitches on to the music and the drill or whatever the case may be. We'll, we'll, we'll pick up the tweet. Girl, what is the drill? Pause to read it. Everybody know that Katie Got Band been doing drill. She been doing it. Like in her Instagram bio, it says queen of drill. She was that. And it's just so funny because girls be fighting over any little thing that don't need to be fighting for. Like, okay, granted, queen of drill. Because what is drill? Queen of she's queen of that. I mean, who the fuck gonna what is drill? the princess? I'm the princess of drill. I'm the newbie of drill. Bitch, I'm the queen. I'm speaking it into existence. Point blank, the fuck, period. Get over it. But, you know, I guess What's everybody music? wants their entitlement and to know, like, hey, I'm the one that started this. This is me. This is where it originated from, whatever, whatever. Anyway, so then Katie got banned. She made this clap back to Asia in her song. Ooh, that she queen of the drill. Oh, I'm the queen of the drill. Then she and they talked about it. Um, like, people could call themselves a king or a queen, like we all kings and queens. Ain't no little eyes and little yous with me. But the moment people think they gonna come at me and disrespect my hard work, my legacy, my culture, my city, our uh, movement, move it out the way. Let's I need go. to start interviewing people, y'all. Ain't nobody taking me off my throne because I am not. I, I feel the like I've interviewed queen. a lot. Of I people. am the first lady. <laughs> I am the drill queen. The president, Drillery Clinton herself. Who gonna move me? Nobody from the rack or nowhere. I put in real work down there, like, let's go. And then all of a sudden, girl, now Miss Nikki, I love her, but baby, 
She done wrote that woman on uh, Katie Got Bands, and then Katie Got Bands done came out and told the world that Nikki done wrote her. I'm just like, bitch, if Fumble the Bag was a person. Now, if Nikki wrote it, every just time. Leave it between y'all, and then y'all pop up with y'all song. But if the girl's gonna do a song with you, it's gone now, child. You done ran your mouth too much. You talk a lot. Okay, but anyway, y'all, I already knew. That was gonna rub Asian the wrong way. Asian came out, following up with, I got so much genuine love in me, but you bitches just waking up the beast or the demon or whatever the case may be. Girl, Asian don't need to have several. Cause she just be talking, 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 talking. All the time. Yeah, cause you know, she, I, she really wanna work with Nikki, like really wanna work with her, but I'm just like, girl, you good enough. I mean, you may not be on Nikki level to her fans and to, to other people, but girl, you good. What's for you is for you. Right. Stop worrying about somebody else putting you on and do your own thing. But Go for with Cardi. Cardi the one on that hood shit. Yeah. Really want to work with Miss Nikki? Uh, is, I don't know what the fuck going on. Like, what is the beef with her? Oh, damn, the chat right on his face. Thanks, friend. Yeah, Cause Nikki really did go and message that girl when they she knew that was in some beef. <laughs> oh, that's something I would do. I know y'all fussed with the bitch. I'm gonna go message the girl you fussed with. What's the cheese look? Ooh, man, if I mean, I live for it. So look, we with Asian Doll. Asian Doll, who is the queen of Drew? What? You heard what I like, said. Huh? Who, the, who the queen? Damn, put him on face on. <laughs> What's the next question? All right, cool. So when you drop a new music, because like everybody keeps seeing you posting everything but music. So when you gonna no, drop? No, no, no. I post music and I post everything else too. So you tell me that's what y'all, you know y'all. So like. when the album comes. But I ain't gonna lie to you though. Let's do a drill. Now, real, real soon. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. I'm about to take over drill. I'm about to sound like Nikki Minaj. Yeah. 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 Y
And um, Leslie had an issue with Clarence speaking to other women. And I don't mean in a sexual manner, just in a damn friend way. Why they didn't think they was going to do that to each other? Like, he did not just try to play me while I'm in the house and he's inviting someone to the studio. But that um that situation got shut down. But I was like, Chris, did you invite somebody to the studio? I'm like, I didn't go. He was like, what are you talking about? He starts getting loud and he's like, I didn't invite nobody. Look at the, the message. He shows me the messages. And from what it looked like, he wasn't talking to her or invited her to the studio. He even called her in front of me and I told him, Y'all not even together. I'm confused. Don't do that. You don't have to do that. He called her in front of me and she's like, oh no, I haven't spoken to you or whatever. So that shut me down. But in that conversation, he was like, you're not even my girl. So don't ask me no questions about no girl, no nothing. And I was like, oh. Stupid. And then you want to make it seem like you just so hurt. I'm sorry. Y'all probably get mad at me. But I feel like when it was laid out, for you, you should know. But then you want to come on social media being funny, trying to make Queen and Clarence jealous and upset them. And now you got slapped in the face with your own plan. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Well, Leslie, what did we learn, sweetie? <laughs> out of all this, don't get with somebody out of spite, okay? And that's what you did. You got with your ex-boyfriend's girlfriend's ex-baby daddy. How the fuck did that sound? Did you not think? And then on top of that, not just Queen, but the other girls. You know what? <laughs> Leslie, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let this be known, baby. Chris, I love you, but I gotta say this. I know you my man, but I gotta say this. Two miserable people. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot. No. And will not. No. Make a successful relationship. Never. If it ain't about me, let's keep key next. Okay. All he right. called that boy miserable well, and did not edit it out. All I got for on the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First one, duck it. We have Wahio Cyrus. Now, this one kind of bothered me because the mother and the brother of the young boy that lost his life on the amusement park ride, right? So they have on their Facebook, they said he's canceled, he lied, he didn't send the money, woo, woo, woo. The mama said, oh, shout, and he blocked me. So they called him out for posting a fake screenshot of him donating the money. And then YKO was like, I ain't got to lie about nothing. He screen recorded showing that he really sent the money, that the money was going through. He put the rules and the regulations of how things work for the GoFundMe and why the money didn't get cleared as fast. And that kind of hurt my feelings because he's actually a really nice person. So he said the devil is busy. Then he showed the screenshots of what him and the mother talked about. Now, if these alleged screenshots are real, I'm sorry. Child, y'all won't be getting none for me. Mm -mm. I am not obligated to give you anything. That's why he shouldn't have never went public and said that. Me and two, I think we was out to eat. And um, we always out to eat. And she said, I think that's dope what YK Osiris is doing. I said, he's trying to get clout. She said, why you think that? I said, because why he have to go public and tell them that he want to pay for the funeral? Why the, the, why the fuck do you have to let the world know that that's what you want to do? Like, if you're a celebrity and you can reach out to people or you have a PR team or an assistant or a manager to reach out to someone, why the fuck you have to go on your page and go live or, or whatever and say, you the one who want to pay? Like, that was, you made yourself a target. Duh. So, <clears throat> you make yourself this target and not everybody looking for you to pay for this funeral. Everybody's looking for it. So now you send a $15,000 <laughs> donation, which people will look at like, what, $15,000? See, me, I would look at that like, bitch, I've sent $15,000. You better do something with this damn money. Okay, that need to go towards the funeral or pay for the funeral. But that ain't what you was trying to do. <laughs> the nigga was trying to get clout off that situation. I don't care what none of y'all say. I offered, okay? I offered, and even if I reneged, oh, well, 
this is why people need to have life insurance. And I'm not trying to be rude to the family. I don't know their circumstances and what they go through. But this is why everybody should have life insurance because it's not anybody else's job to take care of your problem when life hits. So the world ain't obligated to give you anything. Period. So if these are the messages, this is crazy. She said, well, you contacted me and then made several posts about how you were going to help. And then again, no expenses have been made. So please use the same platform you used to find me to tell everybody you did nothing. And please don't show up at my son's funeral. Be blessed. I was just like, if I read and please one more time, I'm gonna have to teach her some new words. And then to say be blessed at the end, I Child, really people hate people know how to fumble a bag. Be don't be sarcastic, girl, because you ain't wishing me no blessings. But I just feel like don't feel as though you're entitled to somebody's money. Yes, he might have used it for clout or whatever the case may be, but let God handle that. I would have been like, if once the funeral, if he did not send anything, once the funeral had went through. I would have been like, and shouts out to okay to Waki Osiris for not sending what he said he was going to send. And let it go. What else I don't she want, did? If you don't want to send your money, I don't want your money. And it would have been that. And Meanwhile, she got 47000 on the GoFundMe. Are you... <laughs> Are you serious? Even after all of this right here, the proof of the money going through, and it's just, you know, on hold, because I guess it's a large amount of money That's being sent through. They still, did they even say anything? Did they apologize for trying to make him seem like a liar? No. I don't know, child. At this point. I would have got my money back. That's why you just can't help everybody. Everybody's no. not grateful. Everybody's I, just... You can't help nobody these days. I'm not going to lie. It's best to mind your motherfucking business. Okay? Girl, talking to myself. It is best to mind your motherfucking business. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. But when I get there, it's going to be a wrap. You're going to be talking to me. I'm going to be like, oh, that's crazy as hell. But anyway, you trying to goddamn uh, go to the, uh, <laughs> like, because, girl. Won't, 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 nah. won't. I don't know. The, this little boy needs to be resting. He lost his life out of something that was unfortunate and just sad. And y'all out here fussing. Jesus Christ. Well, Lord, have mercy. If it ain't about me. Let's keep keep next case. Next on the docket, we have Christian and Courtney. Now, Courtney is, I guess, a social media influencer. Mm, I have to go look up what she does. I haven't looked it up, or whatever the case may be, and I'm not going to. Really, I don't want to look it up. But child, apparently her and her boyfriend had gotten to an altercation. Allegedly, they said that he was fussing with her, she was fussing with him, and then it led to her stabbing him. And there was pictures of blood on her, and it was just a lot, a whole lot of. Sunday evening, Miami police were called to the Pariso condos in Edgewater, where they found Christian stabbed near lifeless. Medics rushed him to Ryder Trauma, where he later died. Police say this was a domestic situation, and they detained a woman not too long after the stabbing after they arrived, but. She, Baker, acted, meaning that she had to involuntarily be taken to a mental health hospital. That woman has not been formally charged, so we are not identifying her. But Florida's Baker Act requires up to a 72-hour hold for evaluation. So, child, just recently after this man's death, this girl is seen out making polls. She's out to eat with her daddy and friends and, and just... All of that. I'll videotape her right now. She, yeah, you should go. Yeah, you should go. Because you just killed your boyfriend. Yeah, you did. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. I don't, I don't know what she said. I wish I knew what she said. So it sparked up conversation on the internet because they were saying she was supposedly distraught and suicidal and all this other stuff. But girl, you out and about living your life. So My family. thing is, how you get caught with the blood on you and everything? You know, I don't, you know what? Well, how dare I ask how? <laughs> Came out, they want justice for their brother. But I don't know if that's going to happen. It ain't going to happen. Because when the family came out, they made a statement that said they strongly disagree about the tweets that their brother made a long time ago, whatever the case may be, when he was. About the tweets that can't believe my follower, one of my followers thinks I talk to black girls when I don't. One of my followers, black girls are born knowing how to shake. Hey, shake. It is me, honestly. I don't care if they not my type. The way black girls disgrace themselves on TV. Black girls aren't the only ones who can cook in the world. 
once again, I'm tired of these black girls in my government class. Martin. Martin's show is too funny. Gina be having too much with her loud black self. Typical. <laughs> The thirst of black people in college shake my head. Mm. Oh, I love white people. Shit, me too, girl. <laughs> white titties, black titties, just saying. <laughs> Dang, all the characters I want to be for Halloween were always white. Mm. Black women may be a lot of things. But one thing a black woman would do is protect her man. And, um, you know, you live by it, you die by it. Their brother made a long time ago. But now they want our black asses to ride for him. And I see why nobody is. It ain't that bad a bitch. Mm -hmm. Whatever the case may be, when he was supposedly in high school, mm -hmm. and now they are calling for the community to come. <laughs> they <laughs> calling for the community. Not want the community to come. And now they are. Excuse me. The bottom line is inextricably, <laughs> inextricably. The bottom line is inextricably clear. Cause all they could have said, the bottom line. Let's make this clear, bitch. <laughs> Let's make this clear as what a black person would have said. Courtney is being treated differently because of her privilege as a wealthy white woman. Within 24 hours following Toby's death, the detective on the case prematurely concluded this was not a crime of violence, but the information provided is a de deficient and the lack of transparency strongly suggests foul play is involved. Courtney acknowledges that Toby did not have a weapon. She has no injuries to support her story of imminent danger. Additionally, Courtney still has yet to explain exactly what happened leading up to Toby's murder. We have every reason to believe that his death was the result of an unwarranted and unprovoked violence. We want to see that justice is served. So family, you may not agree with every action or statement made, but it is my duty to zealously fight for my brother. No family should have to go through what we are experiencing. We have a long legal battle ahead of us to ensure justice is served. I need your support. My family needs your support. We cannot do this without the community. Jeffrey Ombuselli, which means, oh man, like respect for that. I don't know if he was American or like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, of another descent. You know, <sighs> ain't that about a bitch? Um, it's unfortunate, you know. I was talking to a guy today, and I'm like, you know, I love being black. I do. I do. I love being black. I love my black people. I love the kings. I love the queens. You know what I'm saying? I love all of us, you know? A lot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A lot, you know? And, you know, we got to hold each other down when, when we riding for one another. But when one is on the opposing team, it just, you chose your team, especially black women. You can't talk about black women and expect them to protect you. See, black women are the protectors. Black men are supposed to be the providers, and a lot of them are. But we have some black women that are providers. But most black women majority okay our protectors and that's just unfortunate I'm calling for the community to come <laughs> that's They're all i have 
to come together. Now, my uh. question is, what community are you talking about? Because look at that these tweets right here. He's degrading black women, talking down on black women, just ooh, just making black women like they just the scum of earth, like they worse than shit on the bottom of your shoe from a dog. So what community are you talking to? I think you need to round your white community up. Maybe he was talking about the white community. Ask them to help you with this situation because, I mean, God rest his soul, I'm so sorry this is the unfortunate situation, but don't come to the community that he was dogging out and talking so negatively on, and you know you need those women and the to main one. and help him. No, sir. It's not going to happen like that. It don't work like that. You know what I mean? You was dogging these women so bad only to get killed by the woman that you was praising. Ooh. Oh! My God. Ah! Lord, have mercy. Knowing damn well. Knowing damn well. She was going to get away with it. Her motherfucking ass. <laughs> was having a cocktail. By the end of the day. Started off bloody and ended up with a cocktail. The end of the day. Are y'all surprised by that? Excuse me, my community. Are y'all surprised by that? I, in the comments, I would just like to know. Are y'all surprised? Are we surprised? Are y'all surprised by that? I mean, come on. Now, come on. The irony. Well. Um, okay. <laughs> I just, I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. You know, I, I'm really sorry, but I'm going to have to sit this one out. Yeah. And I, I mean. Yep. It's just sad. That's why you just, mm, that's sad. Well, <laughs> I hope they get justice for him, though. I hope if she did do this out of ill intentions and just being a sick-minded individual, I hope she do have to, you know, do her time. I mean, who knows? She ain't even told her side of the story. Talking about love. Let me wait to tell you what actually happened. How you leave without giving a full statement? Oh, I know how. Oh. Damn. Well. Yeah. I mean, he gets his justice, but yeah, I guess y'all gonna have to get some good lawyers and Hope everything work out because they say that girl got some money. Black women, Ooh. let me tell you something, boo. <laughs> this is not a fight for you. It ain't. Next K. Next on the docket, we have Gilly King versus Will Khalifa. Now, Gilly, if you the train, baby, please just say that because ain't nobody else, no other rapper, no other person, nobody said anything about Wiz Khalifa Dingaling being on the internet. I mean, if anything, these women love the Dingaling being on the internet. I love the Dingaling being on the internet. I mean, I want the Dingaling to be on the internet. We see enough to their ass. Can we just see a little bit of Dingaling? Give me the Dingaling. Okay? If you don't want to see the Dingaling, just unfollow Yo, me. Yo, how many times he said Dingaling? Oh. So, Gilly, or Gullah Gullah, whatever his name is, <laughs> Alan, went on his social media, and this is what he had to say about Wiz. Wiz Khalifa, man. I never watched nothing with sound, so I don't, I don't know what he said. I love you, brother. You know what I mean? I'm still riding around, you know, banging black and yellow. And when I see you again, you a legend, man. It's Pennsylvania, baby. Philly to Pittsburgh, but I had to unfollow on the date, man. Every time I come on my page, man, you in your draws, man. You giving up strapping ball action, man. You know, every day, man, I can't do eight balls in the corner pocket every day when I wake up, man. So, you know, I had to unfollow you, play. I love you, though, man. Now, who's to say weird? Black man, yo, they got to get that shit together. That's the weirdest shit I've ever heard in my life. Do you know out of a whole video, me as a reactor... It's a lot that you can watch in a video, right? Now, me. Banging black and yellow. And let me fucking mute this nigga. I would have noticed 
that person's shoes in the back that's walking by. All right. I would also notice the uh, art on the wall. It looks amazing as well. You dig what I'm saying? Um, also, he ain't fully going down on that squat. That squat wasn't necessarily all the way down. He, look at that half-ass squat. Uh, all right. That body on that letter A over there is amazing. They also have weights on that small wood. How many weights do you need? They got like six boxing bags in the back. Do you dig what I'm saying? Um, oh, and they also that bag that I like. I need to buy that bag. It's that it's like the it's like that round bag. Y'all see that bag? I love that bag. If y'all, I need that bag, all right? Um, and that weight rack. That weight rack is bussing. Do you get what I'm saying? That weight rack was probably I don't know, probably $10,000 for just that weight rack. All right. Um, his uh, biceps is busting. Uh, nice biceps. You know what I'm saying? Um, he halfway still going down. Halfway still going down. But he doing what he can while he got to do it. This rack right here probably was $20,000. Damn. That rack is bigger than the other rack, unless that's the same rack. I'm not sure. That carpet is a tarp with letters on it. That is amazing. You know what I'm saying? They got TVs in the background. He's still halfway going down on the squat. And I just don't understand what's going on here. Also, I know if Wiz kicked me, he would really kick my ass. I just want y'all to know, you don't have to look at dick. What is it? What niggas like, yo, I can't watch you because your dick is in the light. What? If nothing is weird, <clears throat> that is weird. That is the weirdest shit you can do as a man, I feel like. All you noticed out of the whole video was a dick. So many things you could have looked at. So many things you could have learned from. A lot of questions you could have asked Wiz. Like why you ain't fully going down on that squat. <laughs> like. Who's to say Wiz might have always wanted muscles his whole life or he did not appreciate his body or love his body and now he's got to a certain point in his life to where now he loves his body. And so he wants to show it off. You know, some people get, some people are big and they get skinny and they show their body off. Some women go get BB. I have uh, trainers I watch all day long. All of them work out and it looks like to be draws. I promise you, I ain't ever said, damn, that nigga got a big dick. <laughs> Out of all the videos I watch, I could go to my Instagram right now. And the first thing I'll probably see, oh, no, I see Fritchie in our picture. But the first thing I thought I would see is them working out. But normally I see it in the morning. But they all are always in their draws. Always. Or whatever though they are, workout shorts. I don't know. Either way, I'm not sitting there looking at the meat. I just, I don't know. Ills and and breast um, implants and show their body off. So why can't a man show his body off? And if you feel uncomfortable because your little peen get hard looking at him on your screen and you have to make yourself feel more of a man and call him out for being confident in his skin, then that's your problem. So Whistler right. comes back and he says this. All right, I'm only dressed this one time. The same will be telling me to put clothes on in the gym or unfollowing me because I make them uncomfortable. Y'all the same who laughed at people when they read in high school or said that you sound stupid because you sound smart. Y'all are negative. And you know what I do with negativity? See ya. People were saying, oh, Wiz is sensitive. He's this, he's that. How can y'all tell somebody how to feel? Maybe the man didn't like his body and he like it now. And you want him to stop showing himself because you don't like it. Nigga, fuck you. Oh, God. Period. So then Gullah Gullah got mad and he gonna say that Wiz got his page deleted. Whatever the case may be. No, Gullah Gullah, you dumb fuck. Wiz got fans, stupid. So his fans want you to fuck with him and they came and reported your page and that's how your page got deleted for bullying and harassment, stupid. Yo, old ass, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Coming here trying to start mess. I don't even know how to get into the mess and end the mess. Now you just over here looking like a mess because you mad about the mess. So bitch, you shouldn't have came in here talking no mess. Messy. So get over <laughs> the mess. Messy, messy. So 
Wiz comes out and he tells him, nigga, I didn't, child, I didn't get that child's Instagram taken down. You know what I'm saying? I, I even offered to help him get it back, but he declined. And I'm just like, okay. People getting... How he gonna offer to help him get it back? And they both on the same platform. And they both... Child... Man, because it's like, Wiz, this man old enough to be your daddy. Why are you calling him a child? Woo, woo, woo. Yada, yada, yada. First of all, y'all not going to do is come for my man Wiz. Because bitch, you better come see about me. If it walk like a duck and quack like a duck, it's a duck. If it walk like a dog and bark like a dog, it's a dog. If it act like a child and do child shit, it's childish. So this man out here doing this childish ass shit, so Wiz want to call him a child, you fussing over an Instagram, and you fussing over somebody being naked. Nigga, you childish. Grown ass, man. So then he came back out and he said this. I appreciate all the support, man, too. You know, I got 100,000 followers in eight hours, right? Mm-hmm, they can't hold no real down. You know, I talked to that super soft, extra sensitive, suave, cotton, right? He said, you hurt my feelings. You hurt my feelings. He said, people was laughing at me, Gilly. I don't like to be laughed at. He said, I felt like you was bringing down another black man. I was like, N I told you to put some drawers on. I mean, because I told you to put some shorts over top of your drawers. I'm bringing down another black man. Yeah, so. Extra super soft, cottony swab. It's all good. You can't own a real act, though, man. I'm the streets, man. Got 30-something million followers and 400 comments. They don't matter no more. You hear me? They don't matter, baby. Plus, our money already in the bank. Right. So I'm just like, girl, okay, now you mimping it, girl. You doing too much. Bitch, relax. Shut yeah. up. Be quiet. I heard somebody say, uh, I didn't get that child's Instagram taken down now. I don't, you know from the streets man where you know you got to stand on what you do and say you got you got to stand on that now you put that energy out there you got to stand on it another thing y'all think i should post his manager text messages from last night apologizing for him okay see you didn't know they did that you didn't know will did that you didn't know will text me last night and apologize because he didn't know that you would do something like that he got his fucking Instagram back. Like, come on. See, you don't put your foot in your mouth, man. And the bottom line is, uh, your exact words was, I was hurt. I was extremely hurt. So my so my Instagram team, I I'm strong over there. But I can get your page back. I can get your page back. Let's just sit down and talk, Gillian. I told you, fuck you and that page. What you talking about? I decline. You right, I decline. You and that page. Look, some folks out here talking about some hell. Y'all unfollowed her. Why, bitch? I'm trying to follow. Bitch, I followed you too. <laughs> Keep putting your peen out there. I'ma look at it every day. You put out the fuck. You put out on this motherfucker 20 sometimes. I'm gonna watch it every 20 fucking times. Anyway. Yeah. That's a nice little meat too. Men are weird. <laughs> And it's about to be summertime. These skinny niggas gonna be out here with these shirts off and these stay third legs swinging. Fuck is you talking about? If you insecure because your dick little, don't get mad at him. Get mad at your mom and daddy for fucking knowing that they will make another child with a small piece of meat. Fuck em. If it ain't about me, let's keep eating. I just, I really, if you, everybody just give me a second. Unfollow him. On my page, man, you in your drawers, man. You giving up strapping ball action. Cause now I'm actually looking at the dick, man. Okay, cause you know, every day, uh, man, I can't here? do eight balls in the corner pocket every day when I wake up, man. So you know, I had to unfollow you, play. I love you though, man. Yeah, who's the I don't. <laughs> Khalifa, man, I love you, brother. You know what I mean? I'm still riding around, you know, banging black and yellow. And when I see you again, you a legend, man. It's Pennsylvania, baby. Philly to Pittsburgh, but I had to unfollow on the date, man. Every time I come on my page, man, you in your draw. I just, I don't know. <laughs> okay, can we just go to the next thing? It's off and he stay third leg swinging. What the you talking about? If you insecure because your dick little, don't get mad at him. <sighs> yeah, Jay Younger and Karina versus Jordan B. Uh, that's it. Uh, all right. 
Um, listen, I'm done. Done with this video. I don't care. I don't care about the Jordan B or none of that. Unless he doing the praise church. Let me see if he did any. <laughs> praise church. Did he do anything funny? Did he stand up? Did he hit a chair? No, he didn't do none of that. All right. I'm done with this video, man. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, uh-huh.